creating realistic human characters is considered one of the most complex and time-consuming tasks for a 3D artist. But now, with the human generator add-on for Blender, it's so easy to add photorealistic humans to your projects in no time. And in this video, we are going to dive deep into what this Blender add-on has to offer. So now, without further ado, let's get started. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations, a Blender course that teaches you to create four high-quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. So, Human Generator is a Blender add-on that allow you to create realistic humans in Blender that you can add to your scene or create a high quality portrait render using the add-on, like these renders on the Human Generator website gallery. A Human Generator offers the ability to choose a body type, whether it's a male or a female, and then you can shape the body of your character through parameters like muscular and skinny and others. You also have a full control over the character face through multiple categories like the jaw, the nose, the shin, and many more. And all of these categories has even more parameters to control it, like the eyes color and the jaw width and location, for example. You can even add hair or a beard to your character and further control them. After you finish, you can press the finish the creation process button to start adding clothing to your characters. The add-on offers a lot of clothing options, you can even choose a footwear for your character and customize it by changing its color and even adding patterns to it. After that, you can pose and show the facial expression for your characters from the libraries that the add-on offers. And of course you can further control these poses and facial expressions through the parameters that the add-on offers. Now the add-on always comes with tons of new features in every major update and version 2 update made the add-on much more useful by adding ARCHID control for the face rig and also a manual control for it through a professional rig. Now when it comes to customization options. 37 starting humans have been added, also 12 new face textures, and 9 new eyebrows, an individual scaling for the experimental mode and going beyond slider limits for the experimental mode. Also the add-on now offers making custom content by letting you add your own starting humans with one click. You can also add your own shape keys and control them. Also you can add your own hairstyles and your own custom outfits. And now you can share your content as a content pack. And also the developers improved a lot of other stuff like the length system. Also you have the ability to use 8K textures for your characters. Now when it comes to the newest 3.0 update, the add-on now offers a new hair system that works with a universal hair shader that works in both EV and Cycles render engine. Also you have the option to dye the hair for your character. The add-on now offers 30 hair styles which are either a new or a remastered version of the original hair styles and also 29 new poses for a grand total of 52 poses. They also improved the interface for saving custom content. It's now much easier to save custom content like hairstyle and shape keys. And with all of that you get an automatic thumbnail button. Also there is the Human Generator API. The devs added an API to Human Generator so you can control, create, and edit your humans with python. And the most important feature in this update is the batch mode, which generates as many humans as you want in one go. How it works is you add markers to your scene, then after selecting some settings, you press generate and one by one fully completed humans will be added to the markers. 
Also, the performance for the batch generator has increased by approximately 10 times because the devs have added a lot of different quality settings to the batch operator. So you can make humans that are seen at a medium long distance that render lighting quick or humans very close at the highest quality. Now tell me in the comments below what do you think about this add-on. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.